if you have the Vanquish stance, you might have already run into this issue right here. Yeah. The lower links, even the upper links, all the links on this thing, not super strong, as it turns out. And if you crash just wrong, you will bend them. If you crash them even more wrong, you will break them. And so really there's only about one solution for this, which is an upgrade and a replace. And so in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We have this full incision link kit where we're going to be replacing a lot of the links that are on this truck, but not all of them. We're going to go through how we do it step by step, why we do it, and making sure that we can increase the durability of this truck. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me bashing or crawling or drifting or racing, plus doing product review videos and how to's. Let's get started by getting the body off and start looking at what's in this package. Do note that on the package they actually have a little scale here i do highly suggest that you take your own but if you don't have one it is nice that they did put that on the package for you so that you can make sure that you're assembling everything appropriately these links do come unassembled but with all the pieces that you need so obviously you have all the rod ends you have the balls and you have the various links here themselves. This is a full link replacement kit, but again, I don't know if I'm gonna be actually using all of it. As I do look at these kits, one thing that I am a little bit disappointed in, this is this is Incision IRC00303. Uh, you notice that all of them are straight. I was really hoping that at least the rear links would still be curved in order to help with that rear clearance. These will clearly be stronger, but you might lose just a little bit of breakover angle there in the rear. As I'm laying all these out here, the curved one here that's the longest, that's most likely the steering linkage up in the front. We have two longer links that are very beefy, two longer links that are a little bit smaller. Two kind of medium-sized beefy ones, one, only one medium-sized kind of, you know, smaller one and then two shorter ones like that. Don't know where all these are going to go yet, but it is interesting that they do provide you with some that are kind of turned down that look like they would not be quite as strong. I would hope that those go on the rear, but these are way too short for that. Way, way too short to go on the rear for this truck. So we're just going to have to take some links off, lay them out, measure them out, and then match them up as we go. To do this upgrade, a pair of shock pliers come in handy, something to get into the ball ends and spin it, a, uh, a scale of some form in order to make sure you're measuring the rod lengths appropriately. I used an electronic driver with a two millimeter end on it. What I've done is I've gone ahead and assembled one of each of the pairs of links from this incision kit, just to cross-reference, because as I started to look at it, not everything really looked like it was lining up and making sense. Um, I didn't do anything spectacular to assemble them. No super big tricks. I have a pair of shock pliers that I could hold on to. Then once I got the end started, I just used a little screwdriver, came in here, tightened them up. Not a big deal. Uh, the shock pliers, if you don't have some, you should definitely get them. You can pop the little ball ends very easily. These rod ends, one side is a little bit machined, it looks like, versus the other side's the natural, like, injection molded. And what you'll want to do is pop it in from that uh, machined side. It looks like it's slightly bigger, pops in easier. So here is where I have a concern. The factory links, front upper, 107 millimeters, front lower, 122, rear upper, 133, rear lower, 138. Okay, I might be a millimeter off here, so forgive me. When I look at the incision links, I have a 138. It's the biggest, beefiest, longest length. I have a 133, which is the kind of shortened, like the, the milled down next level length. I have a 118 instead of a 122. So it's four millimeters off. That's the other beefier next line. And then I have a 96 instead of a 107. It's, a, it's what, four, seven, that's 11 millimeters off, man. It's 11 millimeters off. Like, that's not going to do the job. Yes, I can unthread it from both sides. Maybe I can get it all the way out to 107 millimeters. But it's going to be weak. It's going to be super weak. Like, that's no good. What I was really hoping I could do is put one of this milled down, the one that's 133. What I really want to do is I want to put that on the rear lower. 
Um, and I can probably do that. I can probably extend this out five millimeters and maybe it'll be strong enough. Um, I don't like a lot of weight uh, in the rear of the truck. So my thought was leave the little spaghetti noodle links up here on the top of the truck from the factory and use the like machined down ones on the bottom and that would be the lightest weight possible for the rear of the truck. But I'm a little bit nervous that I might end up breaking one of those rod ends. Now I guess I always have these as a backup so I can always put the beefier ones on later but you know just a little bit concerned about that. But this upper link for the front I think I just can't even use it at 11 millimeters too short. I think I'm going to have to just leave the factory links on and just be done with it. Now the, fa the front lower one, beefier, happy to have the weight down there in the front and lower. And yeah, I can extend this two millimeters on either side. I can make up that four millimeter difference. But I'm just really kind of curious as to why the link set that Vanquish recommends for this kit as an upgrade isn't actually the right ones. I think they're trying to use this kit for multiple of their kits. And I'm wondering if one of their other kits has a slightly shorter front wheelbase from that transmission forward. And they are cheating us here. These incision links are not cheap, guys. And if you were really depending on all of these links being right, you would be disappointed. That is unfortunate. I'm going to start over here on the, I think, factory bent side, not the one that's mangled, because I need a good dimension off of it. Now, there's one screw here for the rear link. And then it looks like this screw here goes all the way through to hold that link in. So I expect it's quite long and we will get that out from here on the side. So it should be pretty simple to get this off. Now here is that thinned, I think what's supposed to be the rear upper link, unscrewed enough for it to be the lower link. And one of the things I wanted to confirm is when I did that, how much of that thread is still in there? So if you can see that, there's still, I'd say, half of that thread or so, more, more than half of that thread is still in this link, and it always and it goes all the way up there to where my thumb is. So I think that's probably going to be pretty strong. But putting it back on the truck, of course, now is rather easy. We're just going to slide it back in and put those factory screws right back where they were. Works nicely, no binding. Maybe we're not losing too much versus the drive shaft there. Maybe we're not giving up as much clearance as I was worried about, but when you compare it to, of course the other side's bent, but when you compare it to what it was before, there's definitely a few millimeters where we're gonna be sliding on the rocks now versus what we were doing before. Uh, one thing, if you wanted to be extra fancy here, if you have any little spacers that make up this difference right here, this is now, I've now created a little edge right here where something can catch. If you had a fancy little spacer, you might be able to put it in there and make that more still of a smooth slide. All right, both rear lower links are on, other side bolted on just like this one, of course, no issue whatsoever. Um, so I'm excited, I'm excited. This is mostly gonna be my son's truck, so uh, it needs some durability in it. Now we're gonna swap over to the front and I'm actually gonna start on the front lowers because we know those actually get pretty dang close to matching up and so we'll start there with those. With these links off, so this is obviously the factory link versus the upgraded link. It's actually, the length difference isn't that bad. I just had to unscrew these each about a round each. And then they look like we're the same length. They're really, really close. May need to put one more round on them. But you can definitely tell the difference here is how much thicker the new ones are. There again, bolts in beautifully. Two screws straight back in. I see no issues with rubbing and of course, Dimensions and everything look just absolutely good. So we're gonna go ahead and swap this one over too and I'll let you know if I have any issue. All right, now again, I'm not gonna be replacing the upper links because the links that they give us are little weeny links that aren't actually long enough. Boo on Vanquish on incision for that. We are now on to, I still have these two front links. And normally, I don't think there's actually any issue with these at all. I, I really don't think there's anything wrong with them. I think they're plenty strong for what we're doing. But again, I can put some additional weight and heft up there. So I am gonna swap them out only for that reason. These are the three shortest links that come in the kit. One, two, three, these are the shortest ones. So this is a little bit longer. These two are the same length. These are the ones that I assumed would be on the upper link side. So here's one assembled, the shortest one that you can get. 
and it's dramatically too long dramatically too long to be this upper link i'll be damned like they have enough links in here that it should be right for this kit and it's completely not i can't there's no way to make it short enough to actually go on there i can't like swap these rod ends or something along those lines it's just too long so i can't actually replace both of them i can only replace the bottom one and now i'm going to make sure it looks like the bottom one's also going to be too long so we're going to have to really watch that these are curved links here at the end curved plastic this other one's not so we're going to assemble it and look there we go in order to get this to actually be the same length still do need to back it off a millimeter or two on each end um you do get to uh you get to the curve a little bit different so here you have a straight out and then a flat and then a straight out so it's kind of a curved in the metal here the metal piece is actually straight the rod's actually straight but then the ends are curved to create some distance I actually measured the offset. You do get slightly more clearance this way, but we're gonna bolt it up and make sure that we're still not hitting that pumpkin over here. Bolt it up and checking in. It looks like it does clear. That's it folks. We now have this truck a little bit more durable than it was before. We also have a little bit more weight on it. Like you can actually feel it. I'm sorry I didn't measure it. I actually meant to measure before and after to see what the difference was and I forgot. So I apologize about that, but a little bit more weight on the front, a little bit less actual additional weight on the rear. So hopefully we did overall help our front to rear weight balance some more. I'm happy, you know, again, like this truck is gonna mostly be my son's and so glad to have it a little bit more durable for him. If you have any other questions about anything I've done with this Vanquish stand specifically, there'll be a playlist popping up over to your right. I hope to see you in one of those videos. If you have any questions about what I did or why I did it, leave them down in the video comments below and I'll be happy to respond to you there. So thank you for watching and goodbye.